Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a railing with forest bark. So, here I have um, AutoCAD drawing inserted into my 3D Studio Maxine and I want to create here the railings of the terraces of a building. So, the first thing what I do is just create a line and create the first post. Actually, I'm going to do a bar, excuse me, this one over here. Then I'm going to sweep it, make it two by two centimeters and going to put a, a bit of chamfer have more realistic because in the real life there is nothing that has sharp edges um, cut 90 degrees everything is um, every single object has a little bit of chamfer so here is my post then I'm going to do a line Use the forest pack, make a forest, then go to the distribution, click path, choose the path, choose this line, then go to the general, add a custom object and add my post. So here I have the, the forest. Firstly, I'm going to shift the, the, the base point of the object to the bottom of the post like this and my forest is synchronizing as well then I'm going to the drawing and measure what is the distance between the different posts so I'll go to the general menu and here under helpers use tape I'm going to turn on the snap mode and then measure from this point to this point. I have here, you can see 14 centimeters. This is a helper, I can I use it for measuring stuff. You can delete it after that. So I have 14 centimeters between the different posts. I'm going to the forest pack. In the distribution here at spacing, I'll press 14. Now I have also a handrail here up. I can use this element as well. I just simply going to rotate it like this. 90. Then I'll do here, let's say this is going to be um, 4 centimeters deep I'm going to put this point in 14 centimeters like this so I have again this element 14 then I'll put this element the base point of the element in the center and in the bottom and align it to the post like this and in the back view or front view I'm going to align it here to the top of the post then I'm going to add here one edit poly and attach this bottom part you can, uh, the top part and you can see the forest pack is being refreshing but the problem is that I need to rotate it. I can do it either from the forest or from the element. Or I can switch um, I can switch the um, effect pivot. I can switch it via the effect pivot. I prefer just to go here, choose on choose this element and then rotate it. 90 degrees and you can see that 
after the rotating here, forward and back, the railing is done. And how am I continuing to apply it, to apply this to the building? So, see my drawing, I'm going to move it on the side. I'm going to draw here a line from here to here. Oops. Here. And then to this line, I'm going to attach the line on the building. If I need to move it, I'll go to the segment part and then just align it as much as I need. Um, here I can see that I need to adjust this a bit, like this, and like this. Now the only thing that I need to do is to add a material, let's say some metallic aluminium, and there we go. If you enjoyed anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.